Hello, my name is Simonaz and welcome to another Simonaz guide video. Today, I've got your rogue pre-raid best in slot guide for Burning Crusade. These are the absolute best items you can get before entering raids, no compromises. If you like these videos, be sure to hit like down below and subscribe for more videos. Now, let's get to it. This set has the best possible gear you can get outside of your first raid. Some of the items are very expensive, but they are the best. Now, if you're looking for some armor that's slightly easier to get, be sure to check out my other rogue gearing guide videos, including quest rewards and a much easier set that involves a lot more dungeon drops and a lot less expensive craftables. Links to both of those are on the screen now. Now, the item comparisons in this guide are based on my spreadsheet version 2.0.35. It is not based on feelings, memories, or weaker comparisons like equivalence points that you may find elsewhere. If you want to download this spreadsheet for yourself, you can join my Discord and find a download link there. It's an excellent tool to use to compare different items for PvE rogue damage output. First, let's look at your weapons. For your main hand weapon, you've got three options that are very close. Blink Strike, Gladiator Slicer, and Dragon Maw are all very good. The main difference between them is how you get them. Blink Strike is a bind on equip world drop epic, so you gotta be either insanely lucky or insanely rich to buy one. Gladiator Slicer might not cost you any coin, but it'll cost you 2,625 arena points, which you may have to wait a couple weeks to get. And finally, Dragon Maw is an excellent mace, but it requires you to be a blacksmith to both make and use it. So it requires a bit of gold leveling the profession and requires a profession slot. Among these weapons, I put Blink Strike as the best. For your offhand weapons, you've got two options, Latro's Shifting Sword or Gladiator's Quick Blade. Latro's Shifting Sword comes from Aeonis in the Black Morass, both Normal and Heroic Mode, and I put it slightly ahead of Gladiator's Quick Blade. Now here's the full set on screen. There's two pieces of Waste Walker armor, three pieces of Primal Strike, and 116 Badge of Justice worth of items. If you want to go hard, this is the set for you. Some of these items are not only pre-raid best in slot, but also best in slot for all of phase one. I'll be sure to highlight those items as we go through them one by one. And let's start with the helmet, the Mask of the Deceiver. This is a Badge of Justice reward that costs 50 Badge of Justice. It's a really powerful helmet. For your necklace, you want Choker of Vile Intent, which costs 25 Badge of Justice and is your phase one best in slot necklace, so it's a very good item to pick up. For the shoulder, you want Waste Walker Shoulder Pads, which comes from Avatar of the Martyred in Auchenai Crypts Heroic, and is your Phase 1 Best in Slot Shoulder item. For the back, we've got Vengeance Wrap, which is crafted by tailors, and it's bind on equip, so you don't have to be a tailor to use this item, you can buy it from someone else. For the chest, we've got Primal Strike Vest, which is a bind on pickup craftable made by Elemental Leather Workers. So you have to be a Elemental Leather Worker to both make and use this chest. We'll be using three pieces of this set to gain the set bonus that increases attack power by 40. Next up is the Primal Strike Bracers, the second piece of this set that we'll be using. Again, a bind on pickup craftable made by Elemental Leather Workers. Very expensive, but also pretty good. For the hands, we want Fell Leather Gloves, which are bind on equip craftable made by leather workers. You don't have to be a leather worker yourself to get these, but you're probably going to be anyways to get the Primal Strike set. These are very good with a lot of offensive stats, but no defensive stats on these Fell Leather Gloves. For the belt, we have the third piece of the Primal Strike set. The belt, in comparison to other items, is much weaker, but we still use it to get that set bonus for 40 attack power, which brings it all together ahead of other options. For the legs, we've got Waste Walker Leggings from Nexus Prince Shafar in the Mana Tombs Heroic. And for the feet, we have another Fell Leather Craftable, which is by non-equip, a lot of offensive stats, no defensive stats, still a great item. For the rings, first up, we've got Slayer's Mark of the Redemption which comes from the quest Dissension Amongst the Ranks in Shadow Moon Valley. Agility, hit rating, attack power, very good. And identical to that ring, we've got Kaylan's Signet, which comes from the quest Death Blow to the Legion in Netherstorm. This is an Eldor only quest, so you can't get it if you choose Scryers. But if you did, we've got an alternative. Band of Anguish comes from the quest News of Victory in Shadow Moon Valley and is only slightly worse. This is what you'd get if you're Scryers. For trinkets, 
We got Abacus of the Violent Odds from Pethalion, the Calculator in the Mechanar, drops from both Normal and Heroic Mode. And for the second trinket is Bloodlust Brooch, which comes from 41 Badge of Justice. An excellent trinket, but a lot of badges. For the range slot, we've got either Veteran's Musket or Marksman's Bow, depending on if you're Alliance or Horde. Veteran's Musket comes from Exalted Honor Hold Reputation for Alliance, and Marksman's Bow comes from Exalted Thralmar Reputation if you're Horde. It's also very close to Phase 1 Bist. There are a couple options that sim almost identical to this, so it's close enough that I'm marking it as a Phase 1 Bist item. Now that's the whole set, and here it is on the screen. From the top, Mask of the Deceiver, down to the bottom, with the trinkets. The items with a dark blue background are also Phase 1 Best in Slot items. This is a great screen for you to screenshot if you want to keep it as reference, all the items you want and where to get them for your perfect pre-raid best in slot gear for your rogue in the Burning Crusade. Now a slight disclaimer, seeing as Blizzard has committed to some changes for Burning Crusade, it's possible they make changes that influence this list. If anything changes, you can be sure to find updated notes in the pinned comment below. Thank you for watching and remember to hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Simonize Guide videos. You can catch me live on Twitch or you can join my Discord. Links to both Twitch and Discord are in the video description below. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day.